Hey guys, DW Berman here with another quick little video, this time Lightwave, but not really in Lightwave so much. Recently, Lightwave 3D uh, the group announced on their Facebook page the command line for changing the font in uh, the recommended font for using in Lightwave. And it's not the most uh, straightforward way of going about this. And I'm, I haven't looked up how to do this on the Mac, so I'll only show you on the PC, at least in this video. So I'm just going to select this whole little bit here, this minus F quotation marks to Homa at 8 quotation marks, and do a copy, and there we go. Now you see I have down here in my toolbar uh, some icons already. These are the light wave icons. Um, I'm not going to, well, if you right click on this, you'll see we have some previous scenes and we have this layout here. If I right click on the layout, we get a properties panel and I can click on that and here in the target section I can simply add that command line that was given or that parse that command whatever so there we go F dome whatever I'm just going to hit cancel I'm going to do this on my Lightwave 6 installation which I don't have down there so here we are in my programs menu or my start button I'm Sorry, I'm a little tired. I'm not talking straight today. New tech, 11.6. If I right-click on the layout icon here and click on the properties thing, then we see here I have my command for changing my config location. And now hit paste, and you will see it says Tahoma at 8. This changes the font to the Tahoma font with 8 points. So I hit OK. And let's load up Lightwave 11.6 now. Do, 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 do. So we can see the change. Of course, you won't see the change because I didn't show you the original. But uh, minor point, just a minor point. See if it loads. There it goes. And you can see the fonts are nice and large and it's a nice looking font. So if I want the fonts smaller, like I see how the objects down here is overlapping, the you can't really read the keyboard shortcut and the command at the same time because of the overlapping. And in modeler you would kind of be losing tabs the uh, because uh, yeah. Anyway, you lose the text on this top tab. So let's make a change and just to show that we can do this I will right click I'll go to that icon again right click on it properties and I'll just lower this to 6 this is probably too small for a lot of people but we'll just try that so all I did was change that 8 to a 6 and now let's load up our light wave 11.6 again and wait for it to come up and there we go you can see our font is smaller we can see this as well the uh, the command plus the keyboard shortcut down here under the object. So that's how we change the font size in Lightwave now. Um, you can do that for Modeler as well. It didn't used to work for Modeler, but now it does. And uh, since we're talking about that, uh, changing things within the command line here, let's talk about a couple of others. Right click. If you want to start Lightwave without the hub, you can just hit dash zero, and I think if I'm pretty sure it's zero, not the letter O. Zero that will turn off the hub, so the hub will be deactivated. Uh, objects. If you save an object in Modeler and it's already open in Layout, it will update in Layout, but uh, you won't have the data going back and forth. If you don't want to have any uh, auto updating of the model in Layout, we can change that to an I, and that I guess. If I'm remembering correctly, that's the command for turning off any synchronization, any and all synchronization. And you might notice here I have a C colon, or yeah, C, C colon. Basically, I have a, a, a folder on my C drive called LW116configs. So that just puts my configuration files in an easily accessible spot on my hard drive. Um, partially, it's there because it's a 
path that I can recreate on a couple of different machines and for network rendering purposes I just have them pointed to that folder and on each individual machine it's that folder but that's probably not the best way to do it but that's the way I'm doing it at the moment so whew, just a few short things on how to uh, change your font turn off the hub change your configs all within just this changing the parameters after the file name in the target section of the program shortcuts so hopefully this has been useful and not too rambly uh, please subscribe to this channel I'm sorry I haven't uh, been as quick with the updates as I'd like I've just been crazy busy the last few weeks so I haven't had time to make these short little videos so subscribe to this channel check out my tutorials on liberty3d.com and have a great day